So in this NFL video, I want to talk about the Cincinnati Bengals and more specifically, uh, four possible Joe Mixon replacements for the Cincinnati Bengals this 2023 NFL offseason. As always, leave your thoughts down below in the comment section of this video. And let's get right into it. So the first replacement for Joe Mixon for the Cincinnati Bengals in 2023 is Austin Eckler of the Los Angeles Chargers. Now, um, Austin Eckler is a player that has been talked about um, in regards to the trade market um, this entire offseason. It was announced a couple weeks ago that Austin Eckler um, was, I guess, uh, maybe seeking a trade elsewhere um, after him and the Los Angeles Chargers were unable to reach a contract extension um, long term for Austin Eckler. So uh, he basically made the decision that if, you know, the Chargers aren't going to pay me, I want to get a contract somewhere else as I feel like I'm getting underpaid for what I bring to the table in Los Angeles, which at this point, we can all probably agree is true, right? Austin Eckler is definitely well performing as, you know, outperforming his contract um, at this very moment. Uh, and, and definitely is in line uh, for a big time raise um, when his contract's over. So uh, it makes a lot of sense why Austin Eckler does want to get traded. Uh, and I do think that if the Bengals do cut ties with Joe Mixon, which uh, could very well happen, I think getting Austin Eckler to this team, even if it's only for the 2023 season, and you don't want to sign this guy long term, but I would imagine that any trade involving Austin Eckler probably you know requires a contract extension shortly after, would be an awesome move for the Bengals. Right, this is the sort of move that can win the Bengals a Super Bowl, right? You know, getting rid of Joe Mixon, it would definitely hurt for this team as they would definitely need a running back. Uh, but getting one of the best pass catching running backs in all football, if not the best pass catching running back in all football, in Austin Eckler, this could add another layer to this Bengals offense, and they could be a very dangerous team in 2023. Now, um, Austin Eckler in 2022 had a pretty solid season, right? Um, played in 17 games, 204 rushing attempts for 915 yards, um, had 13 touchdowns. So overall, a uh, decent season there rushing, uh, but where he's more utilized and where he's probably playing at his best is in the passing game. So um, Austin Eckler had 107 receptions in 2022 uh, for 722 yards, um, 6.7 yards per reception, five touchdowns as well to have a grand total of 18 touchdowns. And I do think that led the league uh, in regards to touchdowns scored. So um, overall, a pretty solid season, once again, for Austin Eckler. Um, the last two years, this guy is, you know, 38 touchdowns combined. Um, just incredible. Uh, has 177 receptions. Uh, and has about 1,800, you know, uh, rushing yards. So um, Austin Eckler the last two years has definitely performed as one of the best running backs in the league, uh, especially in regards to pass catching. He brings a lot to the table. So I'm um, having an offense of Austin Eckler, Joe Burrow, um, Jamar Chase, and T. Higgins. It would add a lot to this passing game while uh, guys like Jamar Chase, T. Higgins, uh, and Joe Burrow are relatively cheap right now. They can maybe afford to bring in a player like Austin Eckler, give this guy an extension, and have him part of the team uh, for the long run. So uh, could Austin Eckler make this team a Super Bowl championship team? I fully believe he could. So uh, the first player is an Austin Eckler trade from the Los Angeles Chargers. The next player that could be a replacement option for Joe Mixon um, on the Cincinnati Bengals roster is Derrick Henry of the Tennessee Titans. So uh, sort of like Austin Eckler, I do think that Derrick Henry could be a trade um, candidate this 2023 offseason. Now, uh, Derrick Henry has not asked for a trade formally, um, and I'm not really too sure if the Titans are really actively shopping him, but uh, the Titans have made it pretty clear on Twitter that that um, from the reports that I've seen, at least that um, they're definitely considering all options on the trade market, right? They want to trade some veteran players out, uh, get a little bit younger, get a little bit cheaper, um, get back some more draft capital. Uh, and Derrick Henry would accomplish all three of those things. Uh, Derrick Henry is going to be 29 years old, uh, maybe even turning 30. No, he's going to be 29 years old um, during the 2023 NFL season. So um, there has been a lot of miles in Derrick Henry's body. Uh, he's pretty, he's pretty, pretty, he's been pretty much the focal point um, of the Titans offense for like the last, you know, five, six, seven seasons now and has a lot of miles on his body, right? Um, Derrick Henry, when healthy, is probably the most dominant running back in football. Um, you know, in 2021, he obviously only played in half the games because he was injured, but uh, in 2022, he was back to being healthy for the most part. And I actually think the last, uh, out of the last five years, Derrick Henry's appeared um, in uh, in 16 games or 15 games, I think four of those five seasons. So uh, relatively speaking, he's been pretty healthy for the most part, minus 2021. So I uh, don't think it'd be an issue there. Now, uh, Derrick Henry going to the Bengals could actually be a pretty good move for this Bengals team because they would not be utilizing him as much, right? They can definitely preserve Derrick Henry's body, uh, preserve his career, 
but not having him as the main focal point of this offense in 2023 because they would have options like Jamar Chase, um, T. Higgins, you know, obviously with Joe Burrow being as talented as he is. Um, they would be a threat in the passing game, but uh, maybe with things not going as well um, all the time in regards to passing. Having a nice running back option like Derrick Henry is not a terrible option. Also, too, um, one of the most dominant running backs in football. That's Derrick Henry, right? He would be a tremendous fit for this offense. I fully believe that. Sort of the best of both worlds, right? The Bengals could um, center game plans around Derrick Henry in the rushing game. Uh, if they're playing a team with a weak passing defense, they could definitely shift their attention towards guys like um, Jamar Chase and T. Higgins. So that could be an option there. Uh, makes this Bengals offense a lot more versatile, a lot more dynamic. I think it'd be a pretty good move for them, right? Uh, in 2022, Derrick Henry had 349 rushing attempts, which I believe led the league. Um, 1,500 yards, just incredible season there. 4.4 um, yards uh, per attempt, so not bad numbers there. Um, 13 rushing touchdowns. Um, I do believe, how many touchdowns did he have total? Uh, I'm not 100% sure. I don't think he had yet. He had no touchdowns in the passing game. So uh, Derrick Henry is primarily a threat in the running game, and he's really damn good at it. So uh, if the Bengals want to uh, replace Joe Mixon with an arguably better running back, um, Derrick Henry could be the guy, right? You just got to pay a, you know, a decent price take for him on the trade market because I do think his value is quite high, even for an aging running back. So at number two, it's Derrick Henry of the Tennessee Titans. The third option that could be replacing Joe Mixon for the Cincinnati Bengals in 2023 is once again on the trade market, and this time it is Dalvin Cook of the Minnesota Vikings. Now, uh, it was more talked about a couple weeks ago at the beginning of 2023 NFL free agency that Dalvin Cook might actually be traded. Um, there was you know, rumors with him going to the Dolphins that obviously fell through uh, and the Dolphins resigning their players, but uh, the Vikings have at least considered the possibility of moving off of Dalvin Cook, uh, going with Alex Alexander Madison full time in 2023, and just getting back some draft picks and getting you know off of his you know removing off of his contract. So uh, that could be a possibility there for Dalvin Cook, uh, maybe finding a change of scenery for the 2023 season. So um, Dalvin Cook is going to be 28 years old um, during the 2023 NFL season. So I guess he's getting a little bit up there in age in regards to a running back. But uh, last year in 2022, Dalvin Cook had a pretty phenomenal season. Uh, appeared in all 17 games played. Uh, 264 rushing attempts, um, just under 1,200 yards rushing um, with eight touchdowns, uh, which is good for 4.4 yards per attempt. Uh, he also did have, I think, uh, two receiving touchdowns as well, uh, 39 receptions, so not a bad option there. And would just be a very solid option to replace Dalvin Cook, or sorry, to replace uh, Joe Mixon in free agency, or sorry, on the trade market, if they were to cut Joe Mixon, right? Uh, Dalvin Cook has been a Pro Bowl running back um, the last four seasons, and I think if he were to go to the Cincinnati Bengals, he could probably make that a five-time Pro Bowl, guys. So uh, I think Dalvin Cook's one of the better running backs in football, a uh, very talented player, of course. Uh, for some reason, the Vikings want to move off of him. Maybe not, like they're not actively shopping him, but uh, if the right deal is there, I'm sure they could make it work. So uh, if the Bengals do, in fact, cut uh, Dalvin Cook, I think, or, or sorry, if they cut Joe Mixon, I think Dalvin Cook could be a nice option on the trade market, especially too. The Vikings are a team that would be more than interested in trading them. Maybe the Vikings, for example, drafted a B. John Robinson. What if one of these teams draft B. John Robinson? Then it makes the running backs more expendable, right? So uh, it could be a little bit of, of addition by subtraction for uh, for the uh, the Vikings here if they were to draft someone like B. John Robinson and trade Dalvin Cook for some more draft capital. You know, could be a nice move for the Vikings, but also too, and more specifically, it uh, could be a nice replacement option for Joe Mixon if he is released by the Bengals this offseason. So uh, the third player is Dalvin Cook of the Minnesota Vikings. Now the fourth and final player that I basically just alluded to is B. Sean Robinson um, of Texas University. Now uh, this option, unlike the others, would actually be, you know, would have to happen through the, uh, th through the 2023 NFL draft. Uh, with Bijan Robinson being available and a projected first round pick. Um, he's going to be, you know, drafted at some point, probably pretty high in the draft. I think a team probably trades up for him uh, and drafts him a little bit earlier than teams are expecting. And that team could very well be the Cincinnati Bengals, right? Uh, what if the Bengals want to get a cheaper option under team control with higher upside? Checks a lot of boxes, right? Well, that guy can be had in the NFL draft and his name is B. John Robinson. Uh, teams are sort of, I guess, maybe speculating that B. John Robinson might end up being the best individual talent in this draft. Uh, the only problem is that running backs don't typically go very high in the NFL draft because they're not really a valued position. 
worth spending a top 10, a top 50, and a top 20 draft pick on, historically speaking. So um, given where the Bengals are drafting, I think if they were to get B. John Robinson, they would probably have to trade up for him. But uh, especially, too, if the Bengals do have, uh, you know, some uh, thoughts on maybe getting rid of Joe Mixon and replacing him with a much cheaper option through the draft or in free agency. I think getting a running back for the future, someone to build around Joe Burrow and Jamar Chase and T. Higgins, uh, someone on a rookie contract, B. John Robinson could be the play. It could be a play in the short term, could be a play in the long term, and extend this window for Cincinnati even longer. I think that's very realistic. So, you know, keep an eye on the Bengals, potentially being a draft day fit uh, for B. John Robinson this 2023 NFL draft. Um, and if they move off Joe Mixon, maybe have their sights set uh, on getting a younger player in the NFL draft. I think B. John Robinson's the guy you have to go with. So uh, at number four, I have B. John Robinson of Texas University and would have to be acquired through the 2023 NFL Draft. So that is going to be it for this video. Um, those are four possible Joe Mixon replacements for the Cincinnati Bengals in 2023. Leave your thoughts down below in the comment section of this video. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.